a boundary doesn't have to always be expressed, in my opinion. Mm. You can have a personal boundary. So for that guy that I just talked about on that date, he could have had all those boundaries at the front of his mind yeah. and been like, as soon as I sense any of this behavior from this person, yeah. I'm out of there. Well, we you all, don't have to communicate every single boundary. Yeah, we all have unexpressed boundaries. I have a boundary that I don't want someone to come and piss on my foot. <laughs> so I don't, yeah. I don't imagine if you yeah. want to say, don't do this and don't do this and don't, that's ridiculous. Yeah. Right. yeah, exactly. So I think boundaries are an amazing thing and it's amazing that people are talking about boundaries more now. But just remember, you don't have to talk about, don't go into a first date listing all your boundaries. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, so oversharing depends on intensity. It depends on the person. What else have we got? Um, being straightforward and open about your feelings. Again, I suppose it ties in with oversharing. Are we talking here about whether you, you've you got on well with somebody yeah. and you go, do you I know what, so. actually, I really, I, I really like you. I think that's an age. Do you think that comes with an age thing? Like a, I think uh, so. You don't want to play games, do you? Who got, no. Ain't got time for that. I ain't got time to play games when they're like, oh, don't text him for another hour. <laughs> yeah, it's just no, a, it's just, just you know, if no, you want no. at the same time, playing it cool is sexy. So I would say if I really vibed with someone, I'm trying to think back to when we were chatting, but again, it didn't feel like an effort. Like we were just texting and just chatting and meeting up and then texting and it it wasn't we weren't thinking too much behind I, yeah, it. Yeah, I I think that's the issue. I think if you start going, has it been too long has it not yeah. been long enough like i never once when we were texting mm. thought oh i'm just gonna i'm not oh i've read his message but i'm not gonna get back for an hour because yeah. that's because that's gameplay i think yeah. for me that's gameplay exactly and i think when you start doing that you're not you're not being genuine no. and i think that the whole point of dating someone or getting to know somebody yeah is that you're trying to create a genuine connection yeah and if you are preempting and you're you're operating out of here mm. a lot of the time then it's not a genuine connection it's, no it, you're, you're playing some kind of game you're doing something for your ego yeah and that's that's not a good foundation for a relationship I would no say. it should just feel natural like it should feel sort of less effort there shouldn't feel like there's huge effort behind it but i think yeah if someone has really if you've really enjoyed a date with someone and you want to text them immediately do it but maybe don't just go I had such an amazing time. You're the most incredible person I've ever met. And I think I love you like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe don't do that. Yeah. 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 Bite size. Bite size. Just go. had a great time. Would love to hang out again. Yeah. Just be, yeah. 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 Just be yourself. Yeah. Which but, sounds obvious, but I yourself, feel like people get this wrong. <laughs> not too much. <laughs> I love that advice. <laughs> um, so this links on from that about being excited to go on another date immediately. This, we didn't, think of all of these ourselves we did some research online someone has said is that codependency or is it just interest and i think that's interest i don't think anything about being excited to go on another date with someone nothing about that screams codependency to me so my therapist philly mm -hmm. um he said codependency is like a new buzzword mm. that people use to diagnose things he says Every relationship has an element of codependency. Mm. That's the point of being in a relationship. Yeah, that you you, you depend, you on, depend each on each other. N not that you need like need each other, but you're a team, right? Yeah. So obviously, when you're dating someone, you're starting to form that. Mm. So there should it's not codependency to want to spend time with somebody. So just be yeah. aware of. Um, I remember someone saying to me, "Codependency, codependency," and like shouting at yeah. me. Yeah, dating somebody, and I was like. 